Hey everyone, so we're going to do a quick uh, tutorial here on how to access the trigonometric functions on an Android calculator. So this is if you are working um, either on any kind of an Android phone. I, for example, am working on a Google Pixel. As you can see here, we do not have any trig functions on our home screen, so you actually have to open up our uh, sliding blue bar here in order to access them. And there you can see sin, cos, and tan, sine, cosine, and tangent. The very first thing that you can notice in the top left hand corner of my screen it says rad. Rad is for radians and unless you are specifically asked to be working in radians you want to make sure that you are working in degrees. So I just press the degrees button there and I'm able to change between the two. I have my sine as well as my cosine and my tan and if I want to do sine as you can see it opens up a bracket for me. That's where I want to type in my degrees and then I can close the bracket to then evaluate my fraction or my, uh, my ratio. We can do the same thing for cosine and tan. As you see, it opens up a bracket. Let's do cosine of 90. That gives us zero. Okay. And it would be the exact same thing if you were working with tan. Now, if you need to find the inverse, in order to find the inverse functions, we are going to press the INV. INV. I'll turn it off so you can see that happen again. I and V, that gives me sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tan inverse. And so I can select those once again. I can do tan inverse, and I can do tan inverse of anything. Let's just do 0 0.5, and we have our answer right there. As you can see, the calculator remains on inverse until you remove it. So it just depends on what type of a um, uh, question you are trying to solve for. And that is how you access the trigonometric functions on an Android calculator.